Okay. What is one word that you would use um, to describe 2020? Eye-opening. What one word would you use to describe 2020? Can I swear or not? So I would say roller coaster. Life changing. An L. Crazy. Uh, interesting. I'd say hectic. Train wreck. <laughs> Pause. Because the whole world literally froze. From losing iconic individuals, historical moments to remember environmental shifts, political revelations to unfortunate events, 2020 is truly a year to remember. In your opinion, what events define this year? Events? Yeah, if you could pick one. What events define this year? <laughs> Pandemic. Uh, um. Uh, I mean, COVID? COVID. COVID. Yeah, uh, COVID. Even though that wasn't this year, but it sort of defines this year. Definitely the pandemic, all the people we've lost like due to COVID-19. Pandemic, definitely. COVID in general, COVID can win. Or pandemic. A lockdown, I would say. Lockdown. Stress, to go with stress. General meltdown. And the closure of universities as well. The fact that uni was cut, cut really short. Um, just the whole pandemic. Wildfires, that was a big one at the beginning of the year. Just the, like emergence and like the recognition of Black Lives Matter in general, the depression like everyone's had to deal with, like all these things we can't hide from anymore. So those type of moments, you know, everyone's really experienced it together. All the Black Lives Matter events such as George Floyd and all the protests as well. If everyone was living in a fake world and then everyone had to start living in we had we had to now we have to transform into a new reality. Do you get what I mean? So it's just like everything we've lived before. Maybe that was fake. Maybe this should be the real reality. The fact that everyone's had to adapt to changes and probably like learn to overcome certain challenges, like especially being distanced from friends and family. Whilst it is quick and easy to define this year with those events, it is also important to note that in 2020, every single one of us were challenged in ways that we never expected whether it was emotionally, spiritually, mentally, or financially. What was the toughest battle that you faced this year? You personally? Uh, coming to the realization that I've actually experienced racism as well. I think probably felt a bit more isolated because I'm usually quite an outgoing person who sees their friends all the time, is very sociable. So having that completely cut off has kind of changed the way I've behaved this year. Just loneliness. Trying to stay motivated during quarantine, um, trying to have a balance with my education and work as well. Not being able to like meet all the friends and stuff. Um, okay, so witnessing, I say, my mom being really broken and upset because she lost her dad. Um, I feel like my toughest battle was like understanding that no matter what's going on in the world, like life still has to kind of go on. Um, knowing who's like a genuine friend or who isn't. So I think friendships and self-growth a lot of that. And um, having like the confidence to take the risk because bruh, 2020 has shown everybody like life's too short. Um, yeah, I guess just having the confidence to believe in myself that, you know, this risk is gonna pay off, this risk is worth it, and change isn't like as bad as I thought it was. I probably, I think I thought I found really hard this year was not seeing people and I miss that side of it in lockdown, being stuck like in the same routine every day. I quite like doing different things. Oh wow, that's a hard one. Concentration um, and self motivation. So, there were periods of times where you had to, when everything was on pause, you couldn't let that get to your head. So, you had to self motivate. And then, when you were self motivating, then you go through the transition of, quite cool, self motivated, now I need to concentrate because there's an end goal in this whole pause. Uh, pandemic being like, Everyone left, it's like everyone like went home, then like I was just sort of stuck in Brum by myself for ages. So I was just like bored and like, yeah, you could say lonely, like lonely, bored, just finding something to do, finding motivation to just do anything other than watch BBC I play all day. Though it be noted in modern history as one of the toughest years, there was much to learn from it. 
And what is one lesson that you learned from 2020 and what can it teach others? Um. Oof. One lesson I've learned this year is just to keep going. Um, yeah. That even in like seclusion, you still got your friends around you, you still got your family around you, even if like you don't see them every day. I think show a bit of kindness. I think all that um, kind of media about, because mental health probably is deteriorating a few people when you can't see people. So showing a little kindness, because you don't know what everyone's going through, the family situations at home and how their lives have changed. So yeah, that's what I'd say. Even when there's bad, there can always be good. Um, yeah, even when there are clouds, there can always be a silver lining. There's always going to be a rainbow, you know the words. But yeah. This is the rainy day. This is the rainy day. So whenever you were taught from when you was younger, save for the rainy day, prepare for the rainy day. A pandemic essentially is the rainy day. So never think things won't go all the way down. You know, always prepare for the worst. Because this is the worst. You know, we're literally living through it. I, I don't know if I'm going to ever see anything like this again in my lifetime, but you, you never know. Um, it doesn't matter where you are, it matters who you're with, have a good time. Um, yeah. um, one lesson would be to be, pati eh, to be patient. I'd say just to be more, I've learned to be more aware of yourself and to just always stand up for yourself. Self-motivation is far more important than people think it, think it is. I think I've learned to be more resilient and like just to like educate myself more. I know this year I've, I've taken a lot of time to like, educate myself in the environment and on like political issues and things. So like I think I've learned a lot about myself like how I can push myself to learn more and like be better basically. So I think everybody should be doing that and everyone should be educating themselves on everything that's going on and stuff like that. What is one lesson that you learned from 2020 and what can it teach others? Um, one lesson is that God is good. He really is genuinely. Um, I believed that before, but 2020 really like came to humble me and remind me. Um, so knowing that like you have someone and something greater than you to like keep you sane in such an evil world and such a sad world, um, that has been like my biggest lesson. That constant reminder that everything else can fail, but you know, God is still good. Yeah. And what message do you have for yourself for 2021 to yourself? Um, work hard and use everything to your advantage. So let's say you can't go out, um, you have more time in your hands, use it to be productive and actually get on with something so you can be proud of what you've accomplished still. 2021, go harder, keep pushing yourself and you can make it. Well, first of all, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you, like you've, you've made it, like as in you've done a lot of things that la 2019 Simi would not have done. So I'm proud of you. Um, I'm proud of you for becoming, like just keep going. like keep pushing all this like confidence that you're building like let it continue and yeah just don't stop here like literally the world is voiced as cliche as it is but and yeah just keep being you and keep spreading love like especially in a world full of such evil keep being me i suppose i don't know just keep keep doing keep being me keep going with that i don't know don't question it too much just keep going with whatever it is you've got this you've been through worse like you've got through 2020 there's a lot you've been through you got this. What a message. Um, work hard, play hard. I never tell myself to keep going. You're doing well. Don't ever think that you're fumbling because you're not. Everything will happen in good time. So I'm going to tell myself. Like, don't rush anything. And advice, I want to see myself bigger, better, more confident in like my vision and everything. Period, okay? No negativity. So yeah, that's what I want to be doing next year. Just do what you want, like, I think this year's taught everybody that like, they just got to do what they want and they've just got to, you know, we only have one life, like, we've just got to do what we want, when we want and not think about what anybody else thinks and just get on with it and, because otherwise life's too short, we all know it's too short, that we just need to live life in the moment and just do it because otherwise we're going to regret it and like, I've got things that I've regretted if I haven't just done it, well this year I've regretted as much if I've just got on with it and just done it because of what's happened this year. Prepare well, for starters, never think there won't be a worst, second, and third, 
remember, I always say to myself, remember a time when it was down, there will always be a chance to restart, you know, there will always be a, a chance to restart, life will give you a chance to restart, even if you may think it won't, life gave me a chance to restart, and I used it to my best opportunity, so. That's what I told Is there anything you just want to say in general? 2020, <laughs> New Year's, anything? Um, I hope I pass my degree. That's my one. I hope I pass my degree. That's all I want. I, that's all I want, just to pass my degree and get a job. So, EV in the future, get your fucking degree. <laughs> that's literally it. That was amazing. I've made it through 2020. It's going to be different really over here. That's it. <laughs> About Corona. Ever, I think, just look forward to being able, be optimistic, be hopeful that we will go back to normal because I have to pray every day that we will. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's it. Ah! <laughs> um, appreciate my mum, she's got me through 2020. Um, I think just believe in yourself, uh, have good friends around you, have the family around you, and even when you're alone, then you have the people around you. That's all really. That's literally it. Yeah, I feel like just a big reminder for everyone to be grateful. Gratitude is something I've exercised a lot this year. Tell people that you're grateful for them as well. It's like, you can assume that they know, but hearing it is different. So make sure you definitely tell people how much you love them, how grateful you are for them in their lives. Like, and just recognize like their work and what they're doing. But yeah. <laughs> Well done for making it through, guys, because 2020 wasn't funny, but yeah. But yeah, that's it. A shout out to Peter and I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm <laughs> Because of like the pandemic and stuff, people have been more prone to like question themselves and to doubt themselves more. So, from someone who's been in that position, I'd say like, just see your self worth. Come to get to a place, yeah, where you realize your self worth and get to a point where you're confident in your dreams and your aspirations and everything. Uh, and watching this video, highly recommend getting a tortoise, great entertainment over summer. Um, other than that, no, that's all for me. <laughs> that's literally it. Um, is there anything you want to add? Shout out to anybody, like anything? I'm gonna shout out to my homegirls and my, you know, back home. I'm gonna shout out to my homegirls and my university and all the ones I'm living with. Those are my homegirls for real. Um, just everyone in general in university. I know sometimes it's hard um, trying to balance everything because you're not just doing schoolwork and you're doing work. It may be work work as well. You might have your own side projects going on. So keep going because you know everything gonna be alright and you're gonna succeed. And yeah, thank God. That was it. You did really well. Thank you. And do you have any shouts you want to do? Any appreciation? <laughs> shout outs or anything? Shout out Chi Chi on this, you know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> That's what for me. That's Stories. it. Because to me, I want to, it's a story. It's 2020. A story. When yeah. everyone looks back at it, even at the end of the year, like, oh, yeah. you know, 2020 was tough. You know, I got through yeah. it. And I feel like everybody's been caught up in the bad things of this year. Like, there's been so many base things, the deaths, yeah. everything. But you just need to remember that there's some positive in it. Yeah, so I just wanted to show that, not from my perspective, because as much as I love talking by myself, yeah. and you know, I want to see other people's opinions. Mm. It's just, it's like a whole, your whole one voice, but yeah. with many stories. Yeah. You guys are like, like the people I bought, they may think, oh, it's not that deep. I'm just saying it this year, but someone is related to you. Yeah. Your teeth. That's why I ask the particular questions. What can you teach others? Your lesson is, yeah. like, what have you gone through? Is teaching some somebody else something. They're yeah. learning from me. No, so that's what I just wanted to do. The no, video. I'm proud of you. But yeah, I'd have more excitement yeah. next year. Genuinely um, proud of you. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. Gone.